are produced, we must know whether this waveforms in this electrocardiogram is normal or abnormal. And if it is abnormal, uh, what diseases are going to cause this abnormality? So, that is what we are going to see in this particular segment. So, we are going to measure each one of your electrocardiograph waveforms to see whether they are normal or abnormal and how to measure them and what are the clinical implications. So, this is how to measure an electrocardiogram. So, to measure an electrocardiographic waveform, you must first know about the electrocardiographic paper. The electrocardiography paper has got number of squares. They have big squares and small squares. So, these squares are running horizontally and also vertically. So, they have big squares and small squares. So, the ECG is running at a particular speed and the we have horizontal measurement, we have a vertical